Hi again, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. You know, celebrity deaths happen, but this one hurts. Actor Robin Williams was found dead from an apparent suicide in his California home early yesterday. He was 63. Williams battled depression and substance abuse throughout his career. In July, he checked into a rehab facility. Williams' publicist released a statement late yesterday confirming the actor's death. Robin Williams passed away this morning. He has been battling severe depression as of late. This is a tragic and sudden loss. The family respectfully asks for their privacy as they grieve during this very difficult time. Robin Williams' wife, Susan Schneider, also confirmed the news. This morning, I lost my husband and my best friend. While the world lost one of its most beloved artists and a beautiful human being. I am utterly heartbroken. On behalf of Robin's family, we are asking for privacy during our time of profound grief. As he is remembered, it is our hope that focus will not be on Robin's death, but on the countless moments of joy and laughter he gave to millions. You know, I'm not a depressive person, but if Robin Williams couldn't handle this world, what chance do the rest of us have? And just to clarify, okay, the words original and brilliant are constantly misused in society today. Those words should be reserved for Robin Williams only. Here's an update on the Tony Stewart situation. The family and friends of an NASCAR driver killed in a horrific on-track collision have vented their anger at the man who struck him. Video that's gone viral taken of the incident appears to show Kevin Ward Jr. attempting to confront champion driver Tony Stewart on foot in the moments before he was hit by the latter's sprint car during a race in upstate New York on Saturday. Police say that Stewart has been interviewed twice and that while criminal charges had not been ruled out, they were not forthcoming at present. Let the nasty begin. Wendy Ward, the late driver's aunt, posted a message on Facebook calling Stewart a douchebag and accusing him of leaving the family with a deep hurt that should not be there. She wrote, I feel numb. I look into the eyes of family and see a deep hurt that should not be there. My heart has pounded out of my chest for hours now. Thanks for thinking of our family, Tony Stewart, when you decided to be a douchebag. Uh-oh. Hey, the critics don't like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and it seemed fans weren't into it all that much either. But then The weekend came, and the movie became a huge hit. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles shell-shocked its way to an impressive 65 million opening weekend. The film, produced by Michael Bay and starring Megan Fox, was projected to open at around 40 to 45 million over its debut weekend. Now, on the strength of that 65 million plus opening, Paramount announced on Sunday that a sequel is underway with Michael Bay steering the production once again. I personally think the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are American heroes, if only because how good their bodies look after eating pizza all the time. Kim Kardashian, or as I refer to her, our greatest troll, will release a book of her own selfies next year. It's going to be a 352-pager. Yeah! 352 pages. You can pre-order your copy or not, although it won't be available until 2015. I have a suggestion for a title. Smile. I'm an illiterate fame monster. CBS has revealed that it's developing an all-female sports talk show. Finally, we can all watch sports without fear of running across Phil Sims. Strange but true story, folks. The California drought has meant a boon in business to companies who paint your lawn green using a special non-toxic dye. Evidently, it's proven to be a rather surprisingly lucrative sideline for Clairol. Meanwhile, in Texas, Texans are considering allowing alcohol sales at gun shows. I'm guessing that the consumption of alcohol actually played a huge role in the creation of that idea. Scientists say that they have now devised a formula that can accurately predict your level of happiness. Evidently, it has something to do with your proximity to both the weekend and beer. 
Wrestler and actor Dwayne The Rock Johnson is certainly counting his blessings. Over the weekend, Johnson's mother, Ada Johnson, and cousin Savalina Farine were involved in a serious head-on car collision. And the superstar decided to Instagram a horrific photo from the scene to his followers. Fortunately, no one was killed in the accident, which was caused by a drunk driver. The Rock, who's really close to his mom, took away a very powerful message from the accident and wanted to share it on his social networking page. He wrote, My mom and cousin were hit head-on by a drunk driver. They lived. This was 100% preventable. Hashtag choice matters. Wow, sure glad to see that everything turned out well there. Hey, thanks for checking in today. We have a new episode of The Reynolds Report every weekday. Hey, watch for the Frank D'Angelo Band appearing across the country during their fall tour. September 19th in Montreal at the Da Vinci Theater. September 20th in Ottawa at the Lac Lame Casino. September 25th in Toronto at the Markham Theater. And October 4th at the Casino in Halifax.